We come from working class family, you know, and a practical attitude to work and to life in that sense, you know. Um, that just runs in the blood, I guess. All my family are cab drivers, you know, it's very working class. My mum was a cab driver as well from a young age, so um, I think you just have that mentality of getting the job done and finding the most practical and um, easiest way of doing it, you know. The thought process of this image, trying to understand or work out how to get that across and what to use, you know, London Bridge images just seemed appropriate, you know, because of that. London vibe associated with Lee. He was quite unpredictable, but he was a very caring person. I think it was more of a self-preservation thing and protecting himself, you know. So, but he was a very uh, generous person, very kind and considerate, you know. He'd always protect the person that was the underdog. You know, that's just the way he was. First day you just come up with the design, obviously. <laughs> the way I work is uh, photographically, and I use a lot of Photoshop to collage it all together. The thing that takes the most time, really, or a majority of the time, is working at positioning and placement of each part of the print to make it flow nicely on the scarf. With the background I've got in fashion, really helps. I've always been keen to learn new technologies and things like that, you know, and ways of creating art. I'm quite good at improvising and just getting things done, basically. I see it as my heritage, you know. There's a grey area between where the brand starts and where the name finishes, you know, and the meaning of the McQueen name. I don't really like cities, <laughs> you know. Uh, I live slightly more rural, so when you work in the city, the last thing you want to do is live in the city. So I like to get back out to nature, I love nature. I think the uh, fashion industry is, uh, I think it's quite an exclusive club, <laughs> you know, which is run by a lot of big brands. But having some, you know, with the new um, online um, media and stuff like that, that, that that's helping uh, smaller people and smaller businesses get their, their word out there more. And so I think things are changing in that aspect, you know, and the power shift is sort of changing a bit. There's a lot of throwaway fashion, high street stuff, you know, but I think there's always a market for someone to have something that's quite special that they can keep and then sort of bring out on special occasions, especially with accessories and scarves. There's always a place for a special item like that. For myself, it would be more beneficial to work in fast fashion, you know, but um, I decided to go down that luxury route, which is, takes longer to make money, and it takes longer to get a product out there, and you get less quantity, but you sacrifice that for quality. Mainly, my ideas come from my imagination. I, st I actually start with the campaign shots in mind, you know, and I've got that vision in my mind. There's, there's still a need for, obviously, uh, that craftsmanship. A lot of those sectors are taken over by the digital movement, you know, but there's still a need for that, that hand-finished, that detail, you know, that you do by hand. <laughs>